Normally, April and Augusta meant one thing, the Masters, the tradition unlike any other, which continues. But lately, the course has been home to another premier event on the women's side. This weekend, three Aggies will be there trading in some of the Texas wind for the slopes in Georgia. If we keep flying a flag there, that, that's a that's a pretty cool deal. Texas A&M is becoming a regular at the Masters. For the second year in a row, the Aggies will be represented at the Augusta National Women's Amateur. The tournament began in 2019 and is quickly becoming one of the premier events in the women's game. It's crazy where these young ladies have taken us. Um, and this wasn't even on the radar three years ago. The championships, the runs that we've had in, in postseason, you know, it was a thought, it was something we talked about, but they're the ones that, that did all the work. Head coach Garrett Chadwell will serve as caddy for senior Jenny Park, who's provided a steady presence on the roster since his arrival. Park also earned a spot last year in Augusta, where she posted a top 10 finish. It's really going to be helpful to like my confidence and just sticking to what I know about the course and how it fits my game. Freshman Cayetana Fernandez Garcia Pogio had a fourth place finish last year. Currently, she's ranked as the sixth best amateur in the world. Kata was signed to A&M at this point last year, and she'll have support from her home both in Madrid and College Station. My family is going, my, my coach from Spain is going. Uh, I just feel, it feels great um, being part also here. I think I, I, I'm better prepared than last year. Recent A&M grad Haley Cooper has patiently waited for this opportunity. She qualified twice previously, but couldn't participate because of COVID-19. This time around, the wait was nerve wracking. I saw on my um, emails, like something was delivered to you from the Augusta National. I was like, oh my gosh, could it be it? Could it be like a you're on the wait list kind of thing? But there was no wait list to worry about. It was the news Cooper and her family have been waiting on for years. I'm excited to be able to take them and just, it's definitely check something off the list and just be able to play there. I was like, even just walking on the grounds is awesome, but being able to play there, that's what I'm like, oh, I'm so excited. I get chills. Regardless how the leaderboard shakes out, Chadwell believes this will always be a highlight in their careers. I've been fortunate enough to see a lot of really, really cool women's sporting events. And this one, I, I don't know if you can really beat this one. They're treated like no other. No, um, it's better than any professional sporting event I've been to. The tournament begins on Wednesday. First two rounds are going to be played at the Champions Retreat, which is right next to the course they use for the Masters. But the ladies will get 18 holes at Augusta National on Saturday for the final round. Portions of that, by the way, will be broadcast on NBC. That's it for sports.